Hey, this is Emily again. Today we're talking about proper humidity with snakes. And if you don't have proper humidity, their sheds will look like they exploded in their enclosure. There'll just be pieces of shed everywhere. Now what you do want, though, is their shed to be in one long piece, including the eye caps. And to achieve this, there's a couple of different methods. Some people think you need the perfect humidity throughout the entire enclosure, which isn't really true. I've found a way that you can uh, not have to worry about that, and you don't have to worry about using these hydrometers, which aren't very accurate anyway, they're just garbage. Instead, use humidity boxes. I have one here to show you. And this is a lifesaver, and this will make it so you don't have to worry about humidity throughout the enclosure. This is the humidity box I had with my fox snake up above. And I just took it out to show you how to make one. Basically, it's just any Tupperware container that's big enough to fit the snake, of course. Fill it about halfway with damp moss, not soaking wet. So you want to look underneath and not see pools of water. And cut a hole in the lid of the uh, Tupperware container, not on the side. Because if it's on the side, then when the snake exits, it'll pull out all of this moss with it. If it's on the surface, the moss will stay behind. Now, he already shed just last night, actually, and as you can see, it's all in one piece. A little stuck to the moss, but that's okay. And once your snake figures out how to use a humidity box, you will have perfect sheds every time. Now, of course, for bigger snakes, just use a bigger container and use this on the warm end of their enclosure so that the heat can really get it nice and humid in here. Now, it might take a few days for your snake to figure out how to use, especially how to enter the humidity box, but once they figure that out, they really like these, to the point where they might not leave it ever, and they can develop scale issues or scale rot because they're sitting in such wet conditions. So don't leave this in your enclosure permanently, only use it when the snake is about to shed. So what I look for is a snake with blue eyes or cloudy eyes, and the cloudiness, by the way, is um, caused by the snake creating an oil in between the old and the new skin, and that oil will help it slide off, but the humidity box really helps keep that oil and keep their skin nice and hydrated. Now I looked around and I have one snake that's in blue, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to set her up with the humidity box. Of course she's my meanest snake, so this will be interesting. So this snake, of course my one with the biggest personality will say, we won't say she's mean. There's no snakes are mean, aren't you? Uh, she has pretty blue colored eyes, which means she's about a week out from shedding. And that means that this is the perfect time to introduce a humidity box into her enclosure. This gives her a few days to figure out how it works before she actually does need to use it to rehydrate that skin and make the shed come off a lot easier. So if you want, you can put a hide on top of it so they feel more secure, or since she's about to strike me, I'm going to just leave the hide over there. So that's pretty much humidity boxes in a nutshell. As long as you use them, you will have perfect sheds every time. I used to have a lot of problems with my very first fall python. With her shedding, it would just come off in pieces, but ever since I introduced this exact humidity box, actually, into her enclosure, perfect sheds. Never had an issue after that. So hopefully your snakes will shed well too. Thanks for watching.